All right, so today's project is to dye these kick panels because I have new interior door panels, but they're not even close to this color and I have three different reds we can choose from. So we're gonna see which one's the closest. back down in my basement working on the interior project that I just started. Now, in the last video you saw me open up the boxes from uh, the door panels that I just got and we did a review of those comparing those to the original door panels that were in the car. So I ended up calling the legendary auto interiors because I wanted to see if they had replacement kick panels in red. They're on their website but come to find out they're only available in black right now and red doesn't look like it's even an option anytime soon. So what I decided is I'm just gonna to try to dye these to match as close as I can to the reproduction panel. So these are a little dark, so we're gonna do that in this video. I tried to order the rear speaker tray cover, and that's gonna be about a four to five week um, build process. So they actually build those to order. So I wanted the speaker tray with the grill cutouts in it. And um, so they're gonna build that for me. So I'll get that by spring and we can do that later, but I won't be doing that real soon. Now, when I was talking to Legendary, I inquired again about the rear seat covers. If you saw my video when I was working on the front seats for my car, when I talked to the Legendary and asked about the rear seat covers, there was about a 33-week delay. And there still is. It hasn't changed. So I went ahead and placed the order now. The only kicker is you got to pay for that up front. And that kind of stinks. I really don't like that. I don't really like having my money tied up with a vendor for you know, 33 weeks and, but it is what it is, right? It's what, what I have to do to be able to get those, I'm hoping by next winter. So maybe next year we'll be doing the rear seat covers for the CUDA. So that's the update there. So now I also have this package from Legendary Auto Interiors. When I talked to them the other day, I was really surprised that they actually had this in stock. And we're gonna open it up and take a look at this later on. Now this is the driver's side kick panel. We're gonna go out to the car and re remove the passenger side kick panel. And then we're going to get these all prepped and we're going to spray one at a time to see how close of a match we can get. So today's Hot Rod Trivia Question of the Week is... So the trivia question for the week is, what were the production years for the 426 Street Hemi? Well, think you know the answer? Stick around to the end of the video and I'll let you know. So getting the kick panel out is really easy. It's really held in by one screw um, in the middle of the kick panel as well as this little screw right here holds it in. Now you might be tempted just to try to remove this screw and wiggle it out, but don't do it. There's a tab that runs underneath um, the little rocker um, sill plate. And if you don't take off the sill plate, you can really bend it up and you'll be happy that you just took the extra five minutes to take uh, the sill plate cover off. So we're gonna do that right now. Well, the good thing to know is all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and to get both of these off. And one of the simple pieces of the interior that you can possibly work on so that's kind of nice but take your time because you don't want to scratch these up they look so nice when they're new and clean and i bought these reproductions about a year ago and man they really make a big difference all those little details in the interior so and now all we have to do is remove this screw it should come right out Easy as that. So if you store your car, do you ever go out, let's say in the middle of winter and just sit in it for a few minutes? Can't be the only one, I don't know. It just makes me happy. Now, whenever you're gonna be dyeing plastic or door panels, the biggest thing I think really is prep work, like any painting project. So you really wanna make sure these are clean. You might wanna give them a good scrub down, even with car soap or like some simple green. And if they're in pretty good shape, all you gotta do is get the dust off and then hit them with some wax and grease remover as your last step. And then after they're done with that, we'll hit them with the SEM plastic adhesion promoter and make sure you follow the, the directions for application on this. And then after that, and then we'll do the vinyl dye. Now these are in pretty good shape and they're really just a little dusty and we're just gonna hit them with the wax and grease remover. So I'm only gonna do one at a time because 
I want to see how this die works that we're going to use and see how close of a match we can get. And then we'll duplicate the results, whatever I'm happy with, on the second. Now the instructions for the uh, plastic adhesion promoter is your first coat is a, um, a real light coat and you let that sit for like five minutes. And then after that, it says to do a wet coat. You can let that sit for 15, but no longer than 30. So you wanna make sure you get your dye on in between that 15 and 30 minute window after you put your second coat of the adhesion promoter. And then you gotta shake it up really good first. All right, it's time for the first color coat. And this is the Portala Red by SEM. I did use this in my sun visor video. And after looking at it again, I think it'll be the closest match from what I have. So. We're gonna give this a try and start with the first coat. And the directions say you can reapply every five to 10 minutes additional coat. So we'll go hit it and bring it back and see what it looks like. First coat is looking pretty good. It's gonna take a, definitely a few coats, especially to cover up that black spot, but you know, it goes on pretty thin. So it, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna take a good three coats to apply, but. All right, so here's the panel after it's all dried. So this took three coats. And it came out really nice, it came nice and uh, smooth and even. And you can kind of see a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of these two. Um, not a big difference, honest, but let's take these two and compare them to the new Metro panels. All right, so here's the first one that was ori originally in the car. And here's the one I just dyed. You can see neither one of these are nearly as bright or as vibrant as um, the new panel. So what else can we do? All right, so I'm gonna try one more color. SEM has another red called Flame Red. I can only imagine how bright this is gonna be, but I'm telling you, neither one of these are nearly bright enough. So, you know, I'm hoping this is closer, and if not, I don't know if I can maybe like do a couple of each to try to mix and match and do a good blend of a color. We'll see, but we're gonna start out, and I'm gonna spray this and see how it looks. All right, so I just tried the Flame Red by SEM, and you know, it's, it looks a lot better and I'm pretty happy with it. I went ahead and did both of them and let's compare it to the uh, reproduction. You can see here, it's uh, it's a little darker and it's, yeah, it's still a little darker than what I would like, but I think again, once it's in the car, this is as close as I can get from the three I've tried. So this is what it's gonna be for now, so. You know, I will say, I think one of the most frustrating parts of, this ha of having this red interior is trying to do any color match. It's been so difficult. You know, like if you watch my video where I had the sun visors. So the sun visors, I found a really nice mint set of originals, but the, just the little cover for the base plate where the screws are, you know, I didn't have that. So I bought a reproduction, which is black. So I went through this dyeing process again there. So I tried a few different ones. Even tried some uh, red by Herbs, which came really highly recommended, but it was still a little more on the orange side, so I didn't even try it this time. I wanted to try to get more of a true red, but I mean, I think we're closer, but it's still not a perfect match. But again, I'm trying to match now to what reproduction is, so. And even when I was talking to Legendary, they gave me the number of a company they use that actually has the correct dye or a dye they've created to match their interior panels. So I called them up, but uh, man, I was pretty surprised to find out that like a quart of this stuff was like $400. So I'm like, no thanks, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Cause again, I'm just doing my kick panels right now and I just want it to be close enough. Cause I think down low, you don't think you're really gonna be able to tell anyway. So I think uh, these are gonna look good. And later on, we'll see how they look in the car. So I called up Legendary Auto Interiors. They're really the best source for your interiors for your old cars. But when I was talking to him, I asked him about armrests. He's like, ah, oh, we really only have black and uh, I think white maybe. But um, I said, ah, oh, I really, really need a set of red ones. He's like, well, let me go check and see what we have. And uh, he's like, ah, oh, well, he was like, well, we weren't supposed to have these, but we had one set of red ones in stock. So <laughs> I'm like, I will take them. Mine were really worn and beat up and I don't want to put those old ones on my new door panel. So let's take a look at these and see how they're looking. See how close they are to the right color. All right, let's take a look and see if these are a close match. I hope so. I've been fighting these different shades of red, man, forever. And uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so we got a box of screws. 
couple of bag of screws and a um, Okay. Wow. First thought is, man, is that like just darker and not even close. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Huh. Left hand and right hand. Let's go put it by the door panel, but that's a mile away. Jeez. All right, so here's my new reproduction door panel, and we're gonna put this guy in, give you an idea of what it looks like. And uh, wow, I don't know if you can see on camera there, but um, that is just such a darker color than these repro panels. I mean, ah, that's kind of heartbreaking there. I don't even know what to do about that. That match is horrible. Oh man, I can't believe it. Let me turn on the light. I don't know if that helps anymore, but maybe not, but it's hard to tell, I'm sure. But man, is that way different. Wow. I am bummed about that. Makes me want to try to dye these stupid things too, but I'd hate to dye these because the, you get so much wear and it's rubbing off, it's gonna, I would think, you know, the dye would just wear off pretty quick, maybe on the armrest portion, uh, maybe not, but, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Whew. Man, that is a bummer. You know, I really love the red interior in this car, but Wow, it's really starting to fight me. You're making things really difficult trying to get things to match. And I just hate all these different colors, you know? I mean, that is not even close. Jeez. So what do you guys think I should do? Try to, should I dye these or just put them in the car? I'm not doing the door panels today anyway. I just want to go through the dyeing process of the kick panels and then, yeah, open these up. But what a surprise, you right? So I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you guys think I should try to dye these to match the door panels, but you know, my other dye doesn't match perfectly either. It's a little bit off, so I don't know what to do. All right, so I also ended up getting some hardware pieces from Detroit Muscle Technologies. And these guys have a really unique set of parts on their website for like gasket sets or clips and hardware bolts and fasteners, so. I go to them a lot for those type of little odds and ends, and uh, let me see what we got. So here are the door panel clips. So if you saw my other video when I took those off, my were in pretty rough shape. Quite a few were broken. So here are the uh, reproduction ones. So that's going to be really nice. I need needed some of those in a bad way. And plus, I know I had some of the wrong screws for the uh, armrest as well. And so. We got some good, new, nice new screws, and I was missing a couple of the fasteners in the back. I noticed for the for the um, rear rear panels, interior trim panels. So now we have a new set of those as well. So just some of those little details, right? So that's nice. So the answer to the trivia question is: the 426 Street Hemi was produced from 1966 to 1971. It was available in a race Hemi form in some earlier, like 64 and 65 models, but the street Hemi was available to the general public from 1966 to 1971. Well, that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And you know the deal, if you turn on that bell notification, you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.